encourage you to go read my article. Everybody focusing on college athletics realignment, in particular college football because it's driving everything. Look, the battleground is not the Big 12 and the Pac-12. Because comparatively speaking, I told you that I thought it made the most financial sense for the Big 12 to stay independent and for the Pac-12 to stay independent. The conference that is actually on the chopping block here is the ACC. The ACC is the danger zone because it represents in some ways the nexus between the Big Ten and the SEC. All right, look, the two big dogs in college athletics are the SEC and the Big Ten. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. We know the Big Ten just expanded to add USC and UCLA. We know the SEC has recently expanded to add Oklahoma and Texas. What is going on at some point in the future is going to be a battle over the top ACC schools and what is or what is not going to happen there. And in particular, the battleground is going to be, and I've been writing this for a decade, North Carolina and Virginia. Those states are where the Big Ten is going to want to come down the East Coast and where the SEC is going to want to solidify its geographic brand. So far, the Big Ten and the SEC have mostly stayed out of each other's spheres of influence. Uh, Missouri, I know, was maybe a school that was desired by the Big Ten. Uh, Maryland, a little bit close to the SEC region. But the Big Ten has wanted to get into Virginia and North Carolina for a long time. And the SEC has wanted to preserve its geographical integrity for a long time as well. And so, while everybody is focused on the Big 12 and the Pac-12, the real battleground going forward is going to be the ACC. Notre Dame has to make a decision about what conference it wants to be in. And then once Notre Dame makes that decision, then there is going to be a real battleground at some point. Could be next year, could be 10 years from now, over the future of the ACC schools. And the ACC schools want out of the ACC. They are making telephone calls to the Big Ten and the SEC. So are the Big 12 and the Pac-12 schools. Everybody recognizes that the future of college athletics is running through the SEC and the Big Ten. And so they want to be members of those schools. And so ultimately, the battleground, I really mean this, everybody's focused on the Big 12 and the Pac-12. What they should be focused on is what's going on in the ACC. Because University of Virginia, NC State, Virginia Tech, Virginia, all of those schools are going to have to make interesting decisions. Clemson, Florida State, also Georgia Tech, There is a lot of interest in ACC schools. And so the question is going to be, what happens when the Big Ten tries to come into the SEC region? Who gets North Carolina? Who gets University of Virginia? And what decisions do Virginia Tech and NC State also make as a result? This is where we are headed. SEC versus Big Ten for the schools in the ACC is where college athletics is headed. And I think if you are a UNC fan, if you are a University of Virginia fan, and you had to pick, would you rather be in the SEC or the Big Ten? It is a cultural, it is a political, it is a business-based decision that those schools are going to have to get involved in making. Same thing is going to happen then. Georgia Tech, Clemson, Florida State. The one wild card here is many of these colleges are not members of the AAU, which is the top 65 basic universities out there in the country. And so if you look at those and try to break them down, that is something that can happen in a substantial way. All right? How exactly is all of that going to shake out is a real debate The battleground for college athletics realignment is going to be in the ACC, and I think the ACC is going to cease to exist as a major conference whenever this plays out. Now, there's a grant of rights involved. It's possible that we're talking about this still being a decade away 
because the grant of rights runs through 35-36 next decade. But the ACC, nobody is talking about it. That is the next battleground. Not the Big 12, not the Pac-12. The SEC and the Big 10 are going head-to-head in that region. 